we are back with uh, Glenn Velvet Reviews. And uh, I got my digital refractometer, Milwaukee. I ordered this off Amazon. Uh, it was a really good price. It was on sale. So that's why I bought it. It was a little over $100 um, compared to the other websites that I saw. It was like $10, $20 cheaper than the other websites. So I, I thought I might as well pick it up. And this is what it, this is what it looks like right here. We got the digital, made in Europe. It says, right there. Sorry for the glare. So you got that. It comes in this box. Anything on the side? Nah, nothing really on the side. It says guaranteed to work. All that other stuff. So let's open it up. Let's see what they included in here and see what we got. It's my first time opening up opening up the box so we got the uh, instruction manual over here looks um, looks pretty good um, set up battery icon bunch of other stuff that you should probably read when you're trying to use this and I would read that let's see what else we got Protect your new digital refractometer from damage with a hard shell, hard case shell that they sell extra if you want a, an extra hard case right here. So I got that right there. Let's see what else we got in here. Looks like we got seawater calibration and steam distilled water for calibration. So we got two different calibrations here. Uh, I don't know anything about them or how to use it or anything like that. Um, you'll uh, we'll have to read the instructions to figure this out because uh, it's my first time opening it and seeing what I'm seeing. So you get these in here. That's pretty cool. Let's see what else we got. They give you uh, um, these little things to suck the water out and put the water on, on here or to calibrate it. I forgot what these are called, like little syringes kind of a deal. Here it comes in the bag like this, pulls out easily. New product registration for warranty. Um, you're probably going to want to fill this out. You're going to want your warranty on this. Uh, you know, I spent over $100 on something. You're probably going to want the warranty. If it was 20 bucks, I would have said, ah, whatever, who cares? I get a year out of it, I'll be happy. But, I, you know, I spent over $100 on this, and I want to get a long time use out of this. So, you should probably register the product to make sure you get that warranty going. So, this way you don't have any problems, you know, with using this later. All right, so it says this. Start a bottle. It says that on there. All right. And uh, this is it. Uh, they give you two different sizes, I see. And they are measured out. Little measurements in there, I think. So, I have syringes anyway that I bought that I'm probably going to use. Um, you probably have to, let's see. Oh, the, this is how the back looks over here. So, it comes with these rubber things over here. Let's open this up. Let's see if they included batteries. You need a 9-volt battery, which is not included. For over $100, they should include a battery, but they do not. Not that I can see in here. Let me. I'm going to open it up a little bit more, but I don't see it. But yeah, it's a twist-on cap. 9-volt has a little O-ring in there to seal it so water doesn't go inside there. Um, not what I thought. There should be a groove for this O-ring so it's not flop. Look at this. It just flops around, the O-ring. That's all it does is just flop around in here. Uh, I hope, I think that's just how it goes. Wow. There should be a ring in here that the this sits in because you have a chance that if screwing this on, if you get it stuck in there, you're going to cut that right open and then the gasket's no use. It's a piece of crap. So they should have put some kind of, um, you know, groove in here that this would sit in and be out of the threads all the time. And this way I don't got to worry about it getting into the threads. So... I mean, you probably have to put it on here first. No, there's not even a groove on here. There's not even a groove on the cap. I thought you would have to put it on the cap first, maybe. But there's no groove on the cap either. So there's no groove anywhere. So that kind of stinks. All right, so that's kind of what you get. Um, I said I thought a little bit more I was going to be getting over here. This tightens up in there like so. 
See, I don't know if that's even, but you know, I don't plan to get water on it, but. So that's kind of what it looks like. Sorry I didn't get to turn it on. I got to look for a battery now and see, because there's no battery in this box. There should be a battery. Yeah, I don't see a battery in here. Nope. All right, so you do need a battery. I got to go find one. Uh, but this is kind of what it looks like out of the box. This is what you can expect it to look like. Uh, I could hopefully do another video uh, later on down the road of, you know, me using it and stuff like that. And then because I got to read the instructions. So, all right, that's about it for Glen Velvet Reviews on opening that up. That's just a quick look at the Milwaukee Seawater Refract Refractometer, the MA887 model. So, thank you everybody for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, leave comments below, please. Um, that's about it. If uh, you know, Hopefully, I'm just trying to help you guys out with making a decision like me when I made a decision to buy this. So if you have any questions or anything, post them below, and I'll answer them as long as I was using it and read the instructions. If you have any questions, more than happy to get to them. And have a great day. Enjoy. Bye-bye.